dreaming? Are you dreaming, Toastmaster Ahmad? In everyday life. 
Best example would this be you sitting in your classroom and you're listening to a boring lecture. And so to your teacher, you're listening, you're nodding, but inside your mind, you're somewhere else. You're thinking of something else. You're thinking of you're sitting in a game, you're playing a game, in that awesome game you were in, the awesome movie you were watching. So that's daydreaming. That is something we all do in our everyday life. Lucid dream. This is one of the most interesting, interesting dreams. This is the dream in which we in which we are awake, in which we know we are dreaming. We know the difference between imaginary and real. So this is the dream that most probably only gamers get to face. G gamers get to be uh, uh, face because they more play a lot of games, so they have visual control. They have mind uh, that they can control in lucid dreaming. So when you're lucid dreaming, for gamers only, they can actually control their decisions, their outcomes, their movements. Nightmares. We all face nightmares, but there's also some psychological condition behind it. <coughs> you don't just face nightmares. Either they are for a uh, fear of something, or some uh, some past experience, a bad experience we had in the past, or whatever condition that is, there's always a reason for having nightmares. It can also be uh, some research researchers say it can also be due to a family, a family history of psycho psychiatric conditions or whatever. Recurring dreams. Recurring dreams are dreams that repeat itself. For example, you you keep dreaming about a certain story again and again, but with a little different variation. A, a same scenario, but different variation. There's mo mo most, it mostly happens when when you have uh, when you have left something, when you, but there's something in your life that you're not focusing on. So when you leave it unfocused, you keep dreaming about it. You keep dreaming about the same thing, unless you correct that mistake. Finally, epic dreams. Uh, this is the final, uh, this is the dream <coughs> that that you remember for years. A dream that you remember, no matter no matter how long you remember it, like just happened in your in just just happened yesterday. A dream that is either uh, it's either very horrific or it's either very exciting. That when you get out of the stream, it's like that you have experienced something, learned something about yourself or about the world. It's a life-changing experience. Now, why do we have to know about these dreams? You don't necessarily do have to know this, but the importance of knowing this is that if we know about what type of dreams we have, we can know about our psychological condition. We can know what's happening to us. We can know what's affecting us. We can affect what's affecting our health, and so in this way, we can be uh, in better condition, in better <coughs> health condition, psychologically, mentally, mentally, mentally. So dreaming, knowing about dreams, is it a, is really important. Well, that is all I would like to say. <coughs> Have a good night's sleep. Overdue. <laughs> 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 <laughs>